Welcome, my friends. This is Maniacal Incorporated, and you join me at the beginning of a dramatic battle, a dramatic war. Flan Sinna has just united the remaining Irish powers through his conquest of Munster. He has uh, subjugated the son of his father's brother-in-law. Not too sure what the relationship is there. Um, Kurul Macdonlana. I can't remember who his um, who the actual previous ruler was, but Kurul Macdonlana had effectively united Munster, Bar Desmond, which we took in a in a previous war. The Gardariki, they seized Leinster. They then moved in and took Ossery from Kurul Macdonlana, his uh, ancestral lands, and then uh, to to basically save Ireland, to save Munster, we valiantly seized Munster. And now uh, we have taken its title. We are the Dukes, or the, the High Chiefs of Munster, the last remaining Irish power on the island of Ireland. And the Gardariki have declared war on us for the conquest of Athlone. We have assembled a massive coalition of various different peoples throughout Europe, predominantly France, but we have even invited in the Vikings. These guys, we, um, we've we married this gentleman who captured Oriel, a previous, um, a previous ally of ours, so they captured Oriel, and we have married off or betrothed our nine-year-old daughter to him, in a desperate bid to secure any number of troops that he can bring to the war. So to give you just a quick look at what it looks like at the moment, this sprawling, this sprawling um, coalition forces are being dragged in from throughout the Viking world and throughout Christendom uh, in, a, in a bid to aid us. So we married off all of our children. It's the great thing about polygamy, having so many children. Thank God we started having lots of children there towards the end. And I did give out about um, about my wife, my my still my... Oh no, she's not my primary wife anymore. Where has she gone to? This one, who of course betrayed us and slept with our former liege and had a son by the former liege. But uh, what we're beginning today, the numbers are somewhat equal now, 5,600 against 5,500, instead of 5,600 against my 1,400. So the numbers are a bit more equal, but what we're going to try to do, we're actually going to try and seize Ossery quickly and see if we can um, if we can get some war score up before our forces start arriving. So um, we're not going to... We're not going to go too deep into... Gardariki territory, because if they land with 5,000 troops and uh, and we're caught off guard, we're in a bad position. So we're we're waiting for all... Everyone has joined us. All of our allies have joined us, but um, we actually need to wait for them to show up. But maybe we can impose some... some hits onto the... onto the Gardariki before any of our own troops arrive. Speaking of which, 2,700 troops are arriving off the coast of Connacht. We're not going to be able to siege this place down before they land. And, um, yeah, they're heading for Connacht. And if we want to get this army off the island of Ireland, it's going to cost us 14 gold. So I'm trying to see where we can where we can go on a run. Uh, I don't know if we can if we can run maybe up to Oriel, if we can get up there in time. Another army coming in. Are any of my allies going to come in? And of course, the war has just expanded. Uh, the Mogir Confederation has joined in to bring it up to uh, 6,900 troops. Hitting Ireland. I don't know if any of my own, um, my own allies are actually coming to defend me. Unless they've all gone and sent their troops somewhere else. I do see some forces coming. Athlone is under siege. Can we join up with them? Dorset's army somehow has managed to get itself off the coast of 
France, which is kind of impressive. We do see some allies moving to the coast, so they do have a considerable distance to travel. Um, I don't know if we're going to be able to hold out long enough. I think pretty much we're going to have to... And so we engage in the first battle. Now we're looking, it's not looking great. It's looking like a decisive loss, especially as my men are pulling out of there. Or not my men, but the, um, the, the allies. Now we are seeing another 800 troops landing from Dorset. And we're seeing another 400 troops arriving by sea. Whether it's going to be enough is the, is the next, uh, is the next question. So we're being caught here in battle. It's a, it's a bigger coalition, though, and the other army has dropped out. So Dorset might end up getting cut out. It's in the mountains, a good defensive region. Now the Norse are bringing in their other troops too late. I say we stay where we are and we fight them. We could win this. It'll be tough, but we could win this. My son and heir, Green Grafador, has been impressed with one of the household champions for a very long time. After finally meeting in person, he has been repeating the warrior's words to himself. Work hard and you can master anything. Um, absolutely. I'd like Green Grafador to be diligent. His stress gain goes up, though. Um, loses diligent, gains generous. Diligent or patient. I'm happy with diligent. At this moment in time, I don't have um, a great a great uh, amount of time to be a parent. Uh, to the impressive hmm, High Chieftain Flan Sinna of Munster, I called on you to honour your alliance and join me in the Gloucestershire claim on the Earldom of Somerset. Absolutely, I, I will accept that. Uh, so we've joined a war, our first war off the island of Ireland. Um, we've a new bishop who doesn't endorse me. God, there's there's so much happening right now. Let's uh, let's uh, you do you do understand what's going on, don't you? You do understand. You do understand we're in the middle of a war, don't you? And I'm I'm stressed, of course, because uh, stress. Talking to people does that to me. Oh, what's going on now? Oh, I'm so stressed. Um, yeah, sure. Do you know what? Become an alcoholic. That's... Stewardship prowess goes down. Tiny penalty. Or become reclusive. Um, do you know what? Yeah, we'll become... We'll become reclusive. We'll become reclusive. That I might stop leading the army, but do you know what? I don't mind for the moment. If we can finish this war quickly... Or not this war, but this battle... Um... Ooh, I don't know what was going on there. Where is the forces that we just attacked? Yes, these are the guys that we want to come after. So many notifications coming in at the moment. It's the best and the worst thing is that we have a, a movement um, bonus, so we do move a lot faster than uh, many of the other armies tend to. Somebody is going to siege back at loan for us. Fantastic. 
our champion Sancho has been killed. That's not great. Get out of it, you devil! Back to Athlone to regroup. Oh my god, dramatic battles at Athai, at Inescorthy. Another battle at Athai, another battle at Athai. My god, Athai has seen. Where's. Um, that's here. That's seen dramatic. Dramatic violence. And Athai isn't even in our lands. We haven't fought a single battle in our own lands at the moment. How is this going in terms of men? So, both sides have lost over a thousand. Now, the big problem is, uh, these guys, I don't think, have actually even brought their forces to bear in the battle at the moment. Um, so, that could be an issue. It does look like even more forces are landing. King Helgi the Seer replaced Rurik the Troublemaker. Ah, so I think the king has actually died. Died of internal injuries. I hope they were internal injuries that he got in Ireland. Katrina comes of age. They grow up so fast. <laughs> Katrina, why have you installed bars in your bedroom? Um, so I imagine Katrina has been uh, imprisoned by Helgi the Seer. Uh, with sufficient tutelage, even a child that has displayed little natural inclination towards scholarship. They grow up so fast. So, she's betrothed to a an 11-year-old. So, there's a chance that Alliance won't, uh, won't come off just yet, but she is in prison, which is not great. Um, so, we can see these guys now mustering all their forces up here. Uh, some hefty armies. I don't know if they're going to bring them in against us. Okay, we've sieged back. We've sieged back at Lone. Now they are massing their forces up here in Brefney. I think we'd be best to try to um, to try and see if they'll actually cut off any of the forces if they if they'll put them anywhere. Is this the entire coalition? It's not. So we have about two thousand. Uh, 800 maybe. So we have another child. Rue the coin. Rue coin. At this stage, these are just walking, talking alliance machines. Well, do you know, actually, no. I take that back. They don't walk. They don't talk. Let's see if we get an alliance with... Um, they're already allied to me. So that's not much help. Let's uh, let's hold on a while and see if we can get a, a better alliance. Slash any alliance. Oh, well, look at this. He wants my help now. He didn't bother his arse helping me, but now he wants help against a populist uprising. Do you know what we'll, uh, we'll accept? He hasn't bothered sending any actual forces to us, but uh, we'll accept. My daughter has been released. Uh, Brefni is back under siege. If the entire army comes with me, I don't know, is it though? The entire army is coming with me. Uh, we lose that battle decisively, they say. Well, do you know what? Fine. They're moving their armies so erratically now, I'm not entirely sure what is going on. So the claim to Gloucestershire was lost. Yikes. So I think they're marching their entire army to attack us and I'm hoping these guys will stay where they are oh, 
Holy hell, I have no idea where this is after coming from. I presume it's the armies that were fighting in Somerset. It is! It's the Earl of Dorset is wandering in with 1,000 troops! What perfect timing. Rukon, can you be of any use to me and marry somebody? No. What perfect timing. Just when we needed 1,108 troops, 1,108 troops just magically appear. Isn't that absolutely amazing? We're going to siege down Osiris. And with that done, we're going to strike at the main body of the army here in Athlone. Oh, our army is splitting off in strange directions. Mightn't be the worst. We should be able to cripple the main army and then maybe turn back on the second one. It's kind of hard to see where they're actually going. Battle is joined. Will my forces join in? Even more forces are coming towards us. Uh, my ruinous acquaintance, Alvira, has been released from her imprisonment at the hands of King Helgi and is once again free. Why is she ruinous? Oh, she's a vindictive villain. I have released your acquaintance from my prison to serve as my concubine. Oh, you foul fiend. Kumasuk was maimed. And another glorious victory over the Vikings. So Athai, Kilkenny, we've there have been uh, dramatic battles just in this in this general area here. The they're retreating north. Um, allied combatants slain, or enemy uh, combatants slain, as opposed to slain. Uh, enemy combatants captured. Uh, Captain of the Raiders of the Coast. What the hell were you guys doing here? Uh, there's been a divorce. You've gotten divorced from High Chiefess Elvira. I don't remember. I so, uh, did your man somehow force a divorce to make her his concubine? Uh, allied combatants slain. Uh, enemy combatants captured. A neighboring ruler has won a war. So Sigdur. Uh, also, there was another war for the conquest of Alok. I don't know who the hell it's under, under now. We'll deal with that later, and we have a useless census. So that means that I am 39, flirty 9, and ready to mingle. And of course I'm not, because I, I hate girls. I don't hate girls, I hate everyone. We already have an, an alliance with these guys. We already have an alliance. This would be a good alliance. She has claims to a lot of really important things. So, I think it'd be a good alliance for me. We're just cementing an alliance that we already have. Right. The Vikings are retreating into Dublin. Our forces are hunting them down. We're up to 41% war score. And what we could do... We've equaled the numbers greatly. There's now only a hundred of a difference. Um, what we could do, instead of hunting them down, or we could let everyone else hunt them down, and we could come and take Leinster, try and uh, siege down Leinster, or we could pull back and um, and actually get some reinforcements. Defeat in the uprising. So, if this guy has been deposed, he is indeed, he's wandering. He's wandering. So we will break the betrothal to him. Because uh, he's now no good. So we get... And he never helped us in the first place. Let's see, do you have anybody that uh, that I can marry you off to? Uh, the Barony of Monaco. I don't think they have a lot of troops. I think I saw Monaco come up already. Let's see the alliance power. So at the moment, we don't have any great alliances to marry our daughter off to. Our newly, our newly single daughter. Now that the 68-year-old man... I expected him to die. 70-year-old man. Now that the 70 year old man has been deposed from um, from uh, Sogan, I think it's Sogan, and it's been taken over by somebody new. 
But sir, you're unmarried. You also have no soldiers, so I don't care. Now, I'm not too sure why this has happened, but we have lost our alliance with the Earl of Dorset. Uh, and he won't renew it because he's saying we have too many alliances already at the moment. Um, and uh, one of our alliances then was on... Uh, is no longer valid because, of course, that's the, the dude up here in, uh, formerly in Oriel, who's been driven out. But thankfully, Dorset is still involved in the war. They're actually hunting down the Vikings, uh, driving them off the northern part of the, the country, hopefully. Uh, uh, I was going to say Athlone. Estonia! Damn you, Estonia! That's the land of hot nuts in... on Twitch, one of my followers. It's him. He's doing this. What does the uh, what does the the numbers look like now? That's not looking great. They now have five thousand three hundred soldiers to their name, and uh, we're at two nine. So that's not looking great. If Estonia actually does deploy forces, we're in a bit of trouble. All right. The um, I saw them getting into boats, so I hope they're not coming down in this direction, or I hope that Dorset is attacking uh, some some Viking units. After all those dramatic battles, we could be in trouble. We could be in trouble. So hopefully, we can take Leinster and uh, possibly offer a white victory or a white peace, a white victory. Oh my god, it looks like they will accept a white piece. Um, which is a good thing because Dublin has just became involved in the war. So just to... Just to... Dublin, the Isles have just involved themselves in this war. So it's became even more dramatic. Uh, but it looks like they will accept a peace. I'm hoping... Because we are in uh, we are in trouble. Otherwise, we are not going to be able to hold out against uh, that many that many soldiers. And I will gladly I will gladly accept a white piece if they will take it. So we're offering a white piece. And I keep my contested title. Three years of war started on the twenty seventh of December, eight eighty three. Shortly after we took control of Munster. And we are at peace with Gardariki. Uh, our allies share 75 prestige Soviet. And we can stand down the forces. And look at this. In a time of peace, bl um, I was going to say love blossoms. I saw blood. <laughs> I was like, oh, you guys are... Uh. My mother. My mother and my cousin. Uh, one of my mother's old acquaintances, Dermot, has arrived at court at her invitation. My mother makes no end of hinting at the good influence Dermot could exert on the realm if he was offered a position of court. Dermot could have showed up when I needed soldiers. That would have been great. What's, um, what's he good at, mother? What's he good at? What's he actually joins the court? Sure. Yeah, whatever. He can join the court. He's stone useless, but he can join the court. Oh my god. We have somehow managed to hold on to our kingdom. For now. For now. They will be back. They will be back. Our alliances are in Tathers. Let's, uh, let's get rid of this uh, notification gore at the moment. So just at the very last minute, that little devil, he's grown up. Look at him. He's a handsome boy. With a big chubby, chubby face in him. He's after growing up. Um, so he joined in, he's, does he actually control all the Isles? Has his father, his father has died, so I presume he's, uh, he's in control of all the Isles now. Uh, we won the siege of Leinster, we took more prisoners, and my bishop likes me now, which is always good. So I might need to go back to swaying, no he doesn't, never mind. And so for the first time in his lengthy rule, Flan can take a break and actually take stock of his kingdom, take stock of his alliances, and take stock of the changed situation on the island of Ireland. We've lost the entirety of Ulster and Leinster. Both have fallen to the Vikings. 
all that remains in Irish hands now is Connop and Munster. Dublin doesn't count, because that's always foreign. Uh, let's see what the alliance the alliance structure looks like. We're still allied to um, the future king of France, so that's good. That's good at least, once his father dies. Um, other than that, then, we're not allied to any big numbers of people. So Dorset was, was our main... Uh, Dorset was our main um, sugar daddy. Now, they've left us. The marriage ended for some strange reason. I'm not too sure why. Not the marriage, but the actual betrothal has ended for some strange reason. And they're not, they're not, um, they're not willing to renew it. So that's, that's left us in a, in a small bit of a problem. But yeah, Flan has now, has now taken Munster. He has a title which he can bestow upon his, upon his children. Uh, we are, however, in a position where we need one more county to form the Kingdom of Ireland, if I am correct. Let's, let's see. Uh, we have these three, these two, and one is six, and we need seven, I believe. So, if we come to Alloch, we're looking at uh, directly commanded by uh, one of the, the main Danish households. If we're looking at Ulster, it's under uh, Welsh control. Uh, these guys, are they now a completely independent entity? They are, but I don't fully understand how and why they are. Because there was an uprising. There was an uprising. And these guys broke free from their previous ruler. They deposed him. So you know what that means. You know what that means. We're going to war with them in a few minutes once we get our uh, armies some way recovered. Oh man. So we have some interesting characters in our, I was going to say in our courts, in our prisons. Uh, here is one, Yaroslav. We actually can't ransom him, because it won't be accepted for, not really too sure why. So instead, what we're going to do is we are going to negotiate his release. He has 17 marshals, so this is, uh, this is a guy that's going to be basically my new, my new marshal advisor. Um, he was wounded and lost a leg, I imagine, in the recent war against us. He's a forest fighter. It's not great in Ireland. But uh, we're going to negotiate his release on the conditions that we can recruit him and that he converts to insular Christianity. Then we have the chieftess of Leinster. Uh, she's already Irish. Well, she, I meant to say she's already insular Christian, so we can't demand a conversion. She's not really good for much. Uh, the stats aren't great. So what we're going to do is get a weak hook on her because if we just release her, we gain stress. We don't want that, so we're going to gain a weak hook on her. Then we also have this other Irish uh, ruler, or this other Irish um, prisoner. Our problem here is that he won't accept a weak hook, and if we just release him straight out, he's going to... We're going to get um, stress. Now, we don't really want to recruit him. He's not much good for anything. So, um, sure, he can stay. he can stay in prison for a while. And then we are left with two others. Now, this guy at the bottom is a chief. I've ransomed him off. And uh, hopefully we're going to uh, we're going to get some money. Well, he's paying himself. But we are left then with two other um, prisoners. They are of religions that we consider evil. And so what we're going to do to send a message... Because I will lose stress and gain dread for doing this. And this is probably part of a proper coronation ceremony for... Um, Flansina, I completely forgot my character's name. Flansina, as part of his coronation, these prisoners are going to be brought out and burned at the stake. And we're going to get some dread. And there he is, he's no longer stressed out. Let's see what another execution does for his... Uh, for his constitution. So we've executed two prisoners. We forced one of them to join us. Or we're asking one of them to join us. This guy's just going to be left there for a while. If we were to execute him. Uh, again we'd lose stress. But. Um, we'd also lose piety. And um, some other people wouldn't like us. That dude. Ah he's fine. I wouldn't care about that. But uh, I think we'll just l let him rot in prison for a while. So let's see if. Those demands at conversion. And our other ransom were accepted. 
So here is our new marshal. He hates us. Watch your step now, yeah. Oh, uh, uh, watch your step now, yeah. Uh, watch. That's terrible. That's terrible. At least he got a hat. Is there any point in making this guy my, uh, my new, my new marshal? Do you know what? The first thing we'll do, he's a warrior, he's a noble and respected warrior. Let's go find a wife for him. Okay, let's not find a wife for him, because there are practically no single women in the world. That's, uh, that's ox. Right, so I've made some changes in the court. I have sent uh, children to be educated. I've sent two of them to be educated by the bishop in the hopes that that will bring up his opinion of me. I have sent one to be educated by Yaroslav. Nice. Who I have now made my marshal. And uh, I've also replaced my steward, who was, I think, a six or an eight with um, Thungol, the son of Karul Makdunlena, who previously ruled Osri. And from Osri, conquered... Munster, he was the previous um, Duke of Munster, or High Chief of Munster, before I took that title from him. So he's now in my court, and he's uh, he's somebody else that we need to uh, to establish good relations with. Hopefully, this guy will become friendly towards us now that we've given him lots of children to take care... Oh god, what have I done? And um, so hopefully he'll become friendly towards us, and then we can actually move towards trying to sway... Yaroslav, it's probably not a great idea having a marshal that hates us. Okay, so we're, uh, we've taken Grian Grafador out to uh, playing with a bow, and we see uh, a wounded doe. Ah, <laughs> playing with a bow. Uh, when he showed me the animal, its wounds were evidence of a slow and torturous death. Green Grafador just smiled. So we could keep him as sadistic, and we are also sadistic, which means that we gain... We lose stress by executing people. It is, however, a sin to insular Christian people. What would Flancina do, though? Flancina himself is sadistic. Yeah, I think Flancina himself, because he's sadistic. If I'm gonna, if I'm gonna play this some way accurately, Flancina would also just even be sadistic. This is what I would much rather do: have Flancina gain stress, and uh, have Green Grafador lose the sadistic trait and become ambitious. But I think this is what we'll do. And let's see what ramifications that will have for us in future. So, a few things have happened all at once. The dynasty has unlocked ominous reputation. And... Uh, what's going on with our wife? My dear Dergol. I might not have loved you. Oh, she did. Good. To think that you would perish in King Helgi's dungeons. Oh, I'm delighted with that. I didn't know she was there, but I don't care. So this is my wife. That... Oh lord, is he in my court now? He would be, wouldn't he? He's a champion in my court. This is her son with my stepdad, my liege. She betrayed me, and he's now a... a knight in my court. How fitting. And she died in the dungeons of King Helgi. Uh, as I was seeking to keep our country free. So there you go. What do you think of that, Aeth? Huh? What do you... Oh, look at that for the... Oh, that face is not happy. Look at that. Wandering. Huh? Where's... Where's your... Where's your duchy of mead now? Huh? Yeah. I thought so. I don't bear any ill will against... Oh, God. How do I even find him now? Okay, so we go to my first daughter, we go to her mother, we go to her, <laughs> her son. I don't bear any ill will against uh, Malshock Nail. So, do you know what? We'll, we'll try and... Malshock Nail, Mock. Malshock Nail, Mock Ed. So, we'll try and find a good wife for him. A military woman. Even though I don't think there's many available at the moment in the world. So, there's no real great choices. We're pretty much between these two. One has an inheritable trait. Uh, pretty, which gives a diplomacy bonus, and the other basically has a claim to Oriel. 
we don't really need a claim to Oriel because we can just we can just attack them because they're heathens. I think we're actually going to attack them right now anyway in the next couple of minutes. So we really don't need that. So I think we will go with this lady. She is a uh, a Waldensian. So we might. I don't think she's uh, no. She yeah. She's chased all right. But um, Yara, look. That's up to the young lad. That's up to the young lad. He can be taking care of that. And there we go. He's got himself a woman. And to bring today's adventures to an end, which started with the dramatic defense of Athlone from this absolutely giant army, which will overwhelm me if it's given an opportunity to do so. Um, we're going to come up here and we're going to, we cannot allow this. A peasant leader, he overthrew our previous ally who didn't help us. A 70 year old man who I um, betrothed, betrothed, betrothalized off my, what was she? I think she was eight at the time. I think she was younger. I think she was like four. But yeah, no, I don't care. All them babies are good for is forming alliances and it worked. In most cases, this uh, this guy didn't help me at all. The guy that, that this guy overthrew, look, I don't care. Declare war. Uh, and we're just going to go for a nice and simple war for the county. And uh, we have the prestige, which is new. We usually don't. Usually it's at this point in time that I realize, oh god, I don't have the prestige. <laughs> I'm going to declare war and we have a bit of a problem here with our piety which I'm just after spotting so we're going to make a decision to take a vow of poverty and uh, yeah so there you go we're, uh, we're getting some uh, some piety per month and we are losing we've, we're taking a 20% hit to our taxes which isn't great because we do need those to actually start building buildings. But anyway, we're going to take care of this scenario here. I, uh, the amount of times. Because I'll come here first of all and then I'll go in the wrong direction. Raise all. Yes, this is what I wanted. No. 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 Now I think he has one soldier. He has one soldier and no alliances. And who is my commander at the moment? It's Yaroslav. Um, I would rather, if I can change... Select a new commander. Flansina. I'm also ever so, so slightly confused as to what's going on here. Uh, I didn't realize that we'd actually taken this place. So we've taken... Uh, we've taken... Oriel. Now our only problem is that we probably actually need to come and take... Uh, this place. Will we do it? Will we go on a little adventure to Viking land? They have no troops. Do you know what? We might as well. Let's go and see the world. Now, of course, the Irish at this point in time wouldn't have really known what was going on up here. Uh, we're not too sure where Lachlan was. People think it was a reference to um, the southern tip of Norway. Or that it was possibly even... I'll bring these guys up here first of all before I forget. Or that it was maybe settlements in in Scotland. But Lachlan is what the Irish referred to uh, the Viking homeland as. It was Re Lachlan, the king of Lake Town. Loch is a lake and uh, Lynn in this, in this context is land. So it's literally lake land or water world. So uh, yeah, the only Irish that would have ever sailed in this direction, the Flansinna is travelling in now, would have been slaves. So, and they would not be returning home. Highly unlikely that they would be returning home. I actually forgot to pick this. I went to do minute arms counter efficiency. I got distracted by talking about Irish history. How, how unusual. That never happens. And so an Irish army sets foot on Viking land. And it uh, doesn't do anything because we've sent it to the wrong barony. The insular world was shocked to learn that my bishop, I think it's Erk, uh, Erk, was Erkid, yeah, it's Erkid, uh, has been um, has been keeping a list of all who have ever wronged him, detailing the numerous ways he plans to get back at them and satisfy his lust for revenge. 
While scandals among the clergy are nothing new, it is disquieting. Or disquieting to hear of one so close to home. I'm going to condemn him. I don't like him. He doesn't like me. I don't like him. Oh, he's just started to like me. <laughs> he's going to lose 30 opinion of me. Everything else is we spend a massive amount of prestige, piety, and uh, stress. Or we just do nothing and gain a small bit of stress. Fervor of insular Christianity decreases, though. The fervor keeps increasing, so I don't really care. Um, we're going we're gonna to try and maintain our good relations with him. I think he has started to... He has. He started to, um, to endorse me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch that sway scheme to other members of the court. Okay, so I got confused here. Um, here is poor old Scanlon, whose mother I executed, executed on my orders. Here's her father, uh, or here's his father, uh, Sc Scanlon's father. Now, Scanlon was in my prison for a long time. He was born in prison. Now he's in the prison of the uh, the King of Gardariki. And um, do you know what? I do feel pity for him, but I don't think we can ransom him. We could pay 10 gold. Well, he'll accept for 10 gold. Will we ransom him? Is he any good for anything? He does have his mother's Herculean trait. So we could ransom him and train him as a soldier. I think that's what we'll do. So we're going to try and ransom the poor Beppe. Uh, what I want to do is come up into the council and try to sway this guy. Uh, I gain stress. I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting. I'm shy. So we have Scanlon back. Will it lock on his character? There we go. And um, education is martial. You are too right it is. And let's give him a guardian. Uh, educate the child. Give him a guardian. And that will be... Our marshal, Yaroslav, whose martial skills have actually gone up. God, this kid hates me. Is it because I executed your mother? It is, yeah. Sorry about that. And with that, we have enough to bring this war to an end and enforce our demands and effectively unite Ireland. Wait, no, well, no, we're a long way off of uniting Ireland. It took us two years to do that. Two years to sail from one end of the world to the other. Um, we've sailed to Lachlan. Now we have to spend 15 quid getting back into our boats. We earned nine. We earned a total of nine for doing that. And now it's back into our boats and off to... Uh, back off, uh, off home to here. He still holds this territory. You know what? Um, is it a daughter? Her name is Lawn. Yeah, we'll we leave it as Lawn. There's just there's too many of them at the stage. Can I offer him vassalage? He won't accept. How is he after becoming independent? That's a bit confusing. So I waged war for control of the county, and I enforced my demands. I have to check this in a second. What bizarre scenario is after happening here? Oh dear. Okay, that's. Wah, wah, wah. Well, that's awkward. That's not what we wanted. Okay. Well, that's going to be problematic because there's going to be people who are not going to tolerate that. And if they come from Munster itself, I don't know what to say. I presume we can't go to war with this guy anytime soon. We have an alliance for, uh, or we have a truce. Do we know when the when the truce expires? I'm sure we'll be told. Well, that's a bit awkward. And does it even matter? Is somebody is somebody coming to uh, to conquer it anyway? Okay, so that is ever so slightly oxymomo. That's not uh, that's not going to hold out for long. That's going to be under a attack soon. Um, so that's slightly oxymobile. 
So what we'll do is we will finish up for today by uh, turning this unit into Raiders. And uh, do you know what? We're going to do a little tour of the Viking world. The Viking world in Ireland. We're going to raid. We're going to raid some places and see what we can do. Green Grafador. Uh, my son and heir has been asking me for I don't even know what the hell that is. And I told him I would get him one in three months if he displayed more focus in his studies. Again, he's shy, so I don't think he's all that confrontational. So I don't. I don't think he'd um, he'd argue with his son. So we spent a lot of money. Uh, we spent a lot of money accidentally conquering part of Sweden or Norway for no reason. So we're going to try and get some of that back. What's after happening here? The settlement of um, Garen, an important stronghold in Greater Ossery, has fallen to my raiders. We have to run the vast tracts of land. We have the run of the vast tracts of land and many of the quivering subjects and shining treasures of Chief Chieftain Sigbjorn to choose from. Uh, the troops stand ready, awaiting my command to give them direction. Bring me bounteous plunder. Are we gain piety? Absolutely not. Plunder, plunder, plunder. We do have to be ready at a moment's notice to run like hell. They have 90 out of 100, so we're... Oh no, they have 28 out of 60, sorry. Uh, we have plenty more, up to Dublin for three pounds. Up to Dublin for three pound. That's done, we'll head for this place anyway, even though I don't think it has anything. It doesn't, so we'll go to... Uh, oh, oh, we're in a bit of trouble. We're in a bit of trouble. I think we're going to get hit by... Oh, we didn't get out in time. We're going to lose all our money. Do we have any of our money left? No, they took it all off of us. We've lost everything. As they say in Dwarf Fortress, I dug too deep. And with that, we will disband our army. We lost 31 quid. Oh, 31 pound. God damn it. So... And my, uh, my counselor was also killed. He had his head ripped off. That's awkward. So that was... And Yaroslav died. Yaroslav died in the battle as well. He also had his head ripped off. So that was a disastrous... Um, that was a disastrous battle. That was a disastrous idea. Flansina is... Is... Um, well, I don't know what he's doing. He's under a bit of pressure. His kingdom is holding together. He's defended Ireland against Gardariki, but his chances for expansion are cut off to him. Uh, he's accidentally, in a peace treaty, been handed over uh, this place instead of this place, uh, which is also awkward because they will be coming for him. They will come to take that back. They're welcome to it. I don't want it. And uh, now, of course, he's bought the, the full might of the, the Isles down on top of him. I'm sure they're going to raid us a bit in uh, in anger at, uh, at what we just did. Um, I think I'm going to leave it there for today. Um, I'll probably start out the these council issues. That's a pity. We had poor Yaroslav was doing such a, such a great job. Um, you know, straight away, we can just assign him. And as a steward... Oh, we're back to... Oh god, we're not back to anyone. So this was the guess that we had. Not a hope in hell, that is too much money. Oh, we're in a bad old we're in a we're in a bad old spot. Um I will reassign I want the, the good marshal there, and this is pretty much it. This is all that we have at the moment. We're in a bad we're in a bad spot. So that'll bring this rather odd episode to an end. Um, it started off fantastically well. Flan Sinna, who had just been crowned as the, or who had just been coronated as the Duke of Munster, uh, defended against a massive Viking invasion which attempted to strike at Athlone itself. Now, in an attempt 
to um, to clean up the last of the minor Viking powers on the island, we accidentally ended up taking part of Sweden or part of Norway. I keep saying Sweden, part of Norway in a in a war. That's going to be awkward for whoever gets it. Who's who's getting who's getting that place? That's going to Kukurka. Kukurka, you don't want that. You don't want that. That's the only place that Kukurka is getting. And uh, I can assure you. Yeah, no, you you don't want that. Um. So that's going to be rather awkward. We also need to try and take Oriel. We need to hope that the um, the Isles aren't going to do too much damage to us. Uh, too much that they're not going to bother us too much. Uh, they have a, a large fleet off the coast at the moment. Um, hopefully they will just sail away. Or stay there. That's fine as well. I don't really mind. And um, yeah, in, in the next one, we need to try and see if we can secure some more alliances. Um, we do have a lot and people generally are tending not to ally with us anymore because we have so many alliances, but we do need to see if we can uh, establish some more or get some more wives for Flancina and marry off more of his children. And we should be seeing in the next episode, Green Grafador, Mac Flancina in Ale, our son and heir, uh, coming of age. And he is, of course, uh, betrothed to a giant, uh, Hildeberg the daughter of the future king of France, all going well. So, uh, that'd be awesome. The kingdom of West Francia, kingdom of Aquitaine, and the county of Ile de France. So, yeah, hopefully hopefully that will give us a, a strong alliance in, in the years ahead. So that's where we're going to be going in the next few episodes. Thank you for joining me on this one. Do check out the description. Uh, the doobly-doo below for links to my Twitter, my Twitch, and uh, I'll stick one in for the Discord as well if you want to join us there and talk pure and utter nonsense. Thank you for joining me, and I will talk to you all later.